Doctors here at the Eastern Virginia Medical School opened this country's first test tube baby clinic last December. Since then, a team of five doctors has been screening hundreds of prospective candidates and working to perfect the procedure pioneered by British doctors Robert Edwards and Patrick Steptoe. I think we're using a lot of different uh, mechanical techniques uh, in retrieving the egg, for example. Uh, we've worked on our own system here, really. And also the, the means of culturing the eggs, uh, we've worked on our own system, which is quite different from theirs. The actual fertilization of the egg and sperm doesn't happen in a test tube at all, but rather in a glass petri dish. Doctors say this part of the procedure, called in vitro fertilization, is fairly simple. The tough part is retrieving the egg at precisely the right time and successfully re-implanting it in the woman's uterus three to four days later. In the coming months, doctors will use this delivery room at Norfolk General Hospital to remove eggs from the six Norfolk area women who've been chosen for the procedure. They're hoping for a fertilization sometime in October. Doctors here predict they'll be successful on about one out of every four tries. If they're lucky and do make a fertilization and implantation in October, America's first test tube baby could be born here sometime next year. Joan Gartland, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Norfolk.